you fooling, Light Boy? This is a man's game, not some toy. Uh, I'm here for the clan war. You up for a duel? That's right, I'm here to duel ya. My skills will fool ya, smack down and school ya. And when I bring it to the zone, you know I'm gonna rule ya. I guess it's good to see Ernie getting some much needed character development and I'm not gonna remark on any of Luke's reactions to these people because I feel that would just ruin it, you know, that would just ruin the gold here. Well, Ernie gets one hit in but we have two Dianorks to defend ourselves and we also have our Ethel on the field. I can see Ernie's death coming and I'm nearsighted. What's this bullshit about signature creature cards anyway? Why do I have to pick a signature creature card from something Knight deems acceptable? Why can't Ethel be my signature creature card? Why can't I pull that card out of my ass like an anime hero whenever I want? I heard the darkness duelist is hanging at the card shop. If you're looking for another player, dog, I... Uh, I'm from the Light Clan. Are you ready to duel? Okay then. Oh hey, a darkness deck. We don't see those too often in Luke's campaign. We get Ethel out while we still both have all of our shields. The problem is that we don't really have any blockers. We do get to summon Eris though, and it finally gets to see some use when we decide to attack some normal monsters. Clear up, uh, clear up Jeff's side of the field so that way we can actually survive. We only get to summon one or two blockers for the rest of the match, our hand's like full of offensive monsters, but Jeff's too scared to attack us with his Slayer monsters because he knows that it'll kill them, and us. I mean, what's the point of having them if you're not going to use them? He just kind of sits on them. He might have actually won this duel if he was more aggressive because we summoned very little blockers, our field's full of offensive light monsters. Nature duelist? Them all. My favorite card is Mighty Shouter. Jeez, what? Mighty Shouter? I like that card a lot. Mighty Shouter always wins. Are you ready to lose to Mighty Shouter? Sure, sure. Just tone it down a little, will you? We establish our field presence really early with two blockers and one offensive monster because for some reason Abigail decides not to do anything with the four mana she amasses until that point. Towards the very end of the match when she has no shields, she summons two double breakers, but it's just too late by then. It's too late. Maybe she was saving up for that earthbound, uh, giant? But she fucked herself. We still have all our shields and she has none.
think you can find the water duelist at the school. Good luck! Um, hi. Uh, can we postpone this? I've I... heard that water duelists use some pretty fluid techniques when they play. All those liquid people and the way the cards just seem to flow in your hand in a steady stream. Uh, yeah, about that. Um, do you think... Sounds like a challenge I'm ready for, though. Let's do it. So I lost to this chick like five times, and it's because, as you just saw in her hand, it's because she has so many goddamn double breakers. She has like five fucking double breakers in one deck. And she's not shy about bringing them out either. Some of them attack past our fucking shields too. Look, there's another double breaker in her hand. Please someone fucking help me. Why did they stack this random chick in the middle of Luke's campaign with so many double breaker monsters? Look, there's another one. How many do you have? Is half your deck double breakers? Do you have any cards that aren't double breakers? Are they real? Is this duel just a prank? Because there are duels in the end game that aren't this hard. Getting back in the tournament, Luke. You did it! Here, your prize is a card of your choice. 